guess what day it is? It's our two year anniversary on YouTube. And in honor of our two year anniversary, let's get this video to 50 likes. And what a better way to celebrate our anniversary with McDonald's hash browns and a big pimple. It's super easy and all-inclusive, meaning vegetarians, vegans, carnivores, omnivores, pescatarians can eat this. Now the flavor, a little salty, a lot potato-y, and a big crunch and floofiness that's, oh, so good. So stick around till the end and we can eat it together. Now let's get McDonald's hash browning. Every morning at 6 a.m. I head to Miku's Farmer's Market. Today she hunted some wild potatoes and it's been a slow season for potatoes. So she told me she's charging extra today. Miku's usually not swayed by my bargaining tactics, but today I managed to get them half off, only if I give her a piece of my hash brown later. She's one true business pup. I'll be using russet potatoes as McDonald's uses the same. And I bet you thought there were only a couple simple potato species in the world, but they actually use special russet potatoes called russet Burbank, Ranger russet, and Uma Thurman, I mean, Umatilla Russet. I don't know who came up with these names, but they sort of sound like cowboy names. Hello, sir. My name is Ranger Russet. Greet your potatoes with the largest hold grater you got. And if you don't have a grater, then you can slice them into thin discs and use your paper shredder. I recommend one that can shred at least 12 pieces of paper at a time. Uh, I mean, I am kidding. I'm not liable if anything happens to you or your paper shredder. Ah, oh, you gotta work quickly, cause if you take your precious time grading, by the time you reveal your potato mountain masterpiece, it'll be brownish pink from oxidation. So to prevent this, immediately rinse them under cold water. Oxidation is sort of like what happens when you leave your guacamole on the counter and forget to use saran wrap because you fell asleep from a guac coma. I know we've all been there. Throw your shreds on a clean cloth and fold it like a soup dumpling. Use your muscles to wring out some of the potato juice. That was my nickname as a kid. Just enough so it's not dripping wet. Now, there are many ways to prep our hash browns, and we're aiming to fully cook the shreds until tender, which will help our hash brown dough form properly. My favorite way is to stir fry them in a wok with a bit of oil, which will give them a light, roasty, and toasty flavor. Toss the shreds into a large frying pan with a generous drizzle of oil and sprinkle in some salt. I'll stir fry the potatoes for around 10 minutes on medium high heat and I'm using my cool wok as it has pretty high walls to prevent the potato from spilling over. We aren't aiming to brown the potatoes, just cook them enough until they're fully cooked and tender. Cooking the potatoes releases the moisture out of the potato, just like how when you cook mushrooms, they'll shrink and you're left with a pan of mushroom juice. By doing so, it'll ensure that the outside of our hash brown is crisp. Transfer the shreds into a large mixing bowl and let it cool down a bit. The strands should be a little translucent and tender, but not mushy where it becomes mashed potatoes. And sprinkle in some cornstarch. Then we're gonna do a little mixy mix. We're gonna do a little mixy mix. And once the cornstarch is fully incorporated, you should be able to form a solid shape. Prepare a large sheet of parchment paper, transferring your potato dough and covering it with some saran wrap. Using a rolling pin, roll it until it's as thick as your left pinky, cutting off the edges so it's nice and straight. I'll be dividing my dough into four and sculpting the edges of the hash brown so it's nice and round. Now doesn't this look like the perfect oblong McDonald's hash brown shape? I think so. I have my hash brown sculpting PhD to thank. Transfer them onto a tray and slide them in your freezer for a minimum of 30 minutes. 
And as we wait for our potatoes to freeze, it's time for Look At You Shoutout of the Week. Haven't heard that in a while. This week's shoutout goes to everyone that commented on my last video. Candy, Choking Rat, Vicky, Cece, Shan, Queso, Sony, M, Sarah, V3, Dennis, Chris, RJ, Jade, LeBron, Kim James, Mean Human, TVMPKXN, Kush Kush, Galaxy Savage Roast, Jessica, and Kiki. Thank you guys for always supporting me, and let's head back to the cooking. After your hash browns have solidified enough to handle, gently slide them into a shallow pool of oil on high heat. Remember to flip occasionally so the hash brown is perfectly golden on both sides. But just remember to work as delicately as possible. Because if your hash brown breaks, then I guess you'll be having potato croutons instead. You may notice that your oil is bubbling and becoming foamy, but don't worry, that's perfectly normal as this is the moisture from the potato evaporating to the surface. In the meantime, here's some potato elevator music. I love hash browns. Hash browns are so good. Hash brown. A hash that's brown. You need to keep an eye on your hash brown. Because if you fry it for too long, it'll become hash burnt. Thank you. And I know as tempting as it may be to eat them right away, you need it to cool a little. Unless you like the skin on the roof of your mouth to peel. And while we wait for it to cool, cue the hash brown ASMR. Serve with a side of cold ketchup. Yes, cold. I'm weird like that. And while our hashy browns are still crispy, let's dig in. All right, so this is the finished product and I'm super excited. Do a little dippy dip. Ooh, I like a lot of ketchup. Look at that, gorgeous, just like you. All right, cheers, first bites for you. Mm, nom, nom, nom. Mm. Nice and floofy. When you first take a bite, you get an immediate crunch. Then you chew a little and you reach the nice and floofy, soft interior. And since we shredded it, once you sink your teeth in, you get to feel every single shred of the potato. This tastes even better than McDonald's. Also, the perimeter of the hash brown is a bit more cooked, so it's extra crispy on the edges. It's like a chip on the outside, and on the inside, it's like a french fry. All right, so this gets look at you stamp of approval. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I post once a week. And I'll see you guys next time. And if you like this video, please give it a thumb. Oh, wait. <laughs> pa. Miku, pa. Miku. As promised, we got a little hash brown for Miku. Bye everyone, thanks for watching.